So here's the aftermath of the wheel lockup. Uh, this is the, the setup again, the Trackstar motor, uh, Bainbot's P60, 64 to 1. And there was another further 2 to 1 stage chain reduction to the wheel. Um, you can see this is the one that locked up. And I think you can see that those teeth are pretty much gone. And then these are the planet gears. Uh, here's a, a good good one right put that right next to it so you can see uh, maybe you can't see but the teeth there are pretty rounded and the uh, aluminum ring gear got chewed up a little bit it's not bad in terms of wear but yeah this this guy took the majority of it and uh, I opened up the one that still works the gears look uh, like they're almost brand new uh, not much wear at all so uh, I think this happened very quickly I don't think this was wear I think something just caught and it just sheared all those teeth right off so uh, that pretty much put an end to the brushless boner uh, yeah so then I kind of took the two robots apart uh, put the pieces back together and have made like the one ultimate test bed and uh, it drives really nicely. I really like the 18 volt DeWalt's, but uh, it is not without its issues. Maybe I'll do a little video of it driving around now. So the DeWalt based brushless drivetrain is all well and good, the, the bot bits ESCs have great low speed control, um, much better than Victor's for example, but of course I'm not happy to leave well enough alone, I'm still pursuing the brushless drivetrain. So to that end, I've gone the other way, instead of fast high strung motors, I'm looking at slower outrunner motors, larger physically hopefully a little less speed but uh, then I'm looking for a gearbox so I'm giving these things a try this is uh, made by Andy Mark it's for the US first robotics competitions it's a 12.75 to 1 reduction gearbox the the casing is made of aluminum extrusion the gears inside, I believe, are 24 pitch. I could be mistaken about that, but they're all 4130 or 4140. Uh, everything's running on ball bearings. Uh, the shaft is a nice half inch with the big uh, full length keyway there. Very nice little kit. I'm not sure if it's actually up to combat riggers. Um, 
you know, the bearings are just kind of loosely pressed in there. This one's held in with a couple of keeper screws. It's, it's very clever the way it's put together. It manufactured and assembled. I don't know if it's tough enough for combat. I intend to find out. Uh, this combo together is about five pounds, five pounds. And you can get a uh, different, uh, you can get aluminum gears for this thing to lighten it up a little bit. You can get different ratios. I think the lowest is somewhere like six to one. This, like I said, is 12.75 to one. Um, but the, the like real big bonus of this gearbox is we have the, uh, the cor sorry, the coroner here. Uh, sorry, the boner here. This gearbox fits like right where the old wheel used to go. It's it's almost like just drop drop in and it's like there. Motor would stick right in there. It would be a little bit of a tight fit along with the EV Warriors, but it would barely fit. Uh, then the wheel right on the shaft that gives a pretty much, you know, butter zone 15 miles per hour or something like that. I don't know if it's gonna, you know, hold up to any hits, direct hits on the wheel, direct, you know, back to the axle into the gearbox, but um, you know, it's it's an option. So the gearbox itself is only two pounds. The majority of that five pounds comes from the sim motor. So then my thought was to put a brushless motor on this. And to that end, I purchased a 5065 motor from eBay. Um, the, the Australian Robot Wars guys, Robo Wars guys, really seem to like them. Uh, it seems pretty well built. It puts out uh, quite a bit of power for the size. And uh, let's take a look at the mounted gearbox, or mounted motor next. I have the 5065 motor. This one I think is a 270 kV uh, with the 12.75 to 1 reduction and the 7.5 inch wheel that we literally stole right off the robot. You can see it's, it's missing that one. There's the other wheel. That's the wheel right there. Even use the same bearing setup. But as it's geared, it's geared for about 10 miles an hour in this setup. Uh, I ordered some 380 kVs, which uh, will get it up to 15 miles an hour, which is my target speed for the boner. But along with the uh, Animark gearbox and Hobby, Hobby King slash eBay motor, I had to make this, uh, fabricate this adapter plate. That was relatively easy, just to match up the bolt pattern without having to redrill the gearbox. Everything's being run, powered with this uh, Trackstar 150 amp speed controller. It's a knockoff of the Mamba Monster, and it seems to function pretty well. Um, this is right out of the box, no, no messing with the programming. So it's got 50% power in reverse, and uh, there's a delay. The, the reverse is locked out until you come to a complete stop and then it'll go reverse but you can take care of that in the programming I just haven't done it yet again my friend Zippy and a watt meter just to get some numbers okay I've got my pistol radio hooked up and see that it Too much coffee. That was the uh, you know half power reverse to full forward slam. There was a little bit of a pause there, but it does do it. I don't know if that matters in the box. Uh, if it's even that apparent once I get a pair of these running, 
but it's pretty noticeable here. So that's the half reverse. Getting no traction. There it goes. So if I pop this thing against a immovable object, maybe stand on it, then uh, see if I can get a picture of the meter without shaking too badly. That's almost going to tear uh, tear my uh, electrical tape and wood mount apart. But that's pulling about uh, 15 amps. It was it was putting I, I don't know. But that's not warm. That's not even close to warm. Nothing. This whole system. Nothing seems to be stressing it. Uh, I I tried loading it down on the bench like with a pair of gloves. I got it up to about 800 watts. Uh, I managed to do that once here up against the wall, like standing on this thing. But uh, it seems like it's got plenty of power and the gearing seems to, to burn out this wheel. And there's a nice little pile of dust there. So, so far I'm, I'm uh, very cautiously optimistic about this setup. So this, uh, this setup as it sits, the, the gearbox, the speed controller, and the motor, it's somewhere around the $200 price point for a three pound horsepower-ish motor. Um, that's not a bad setup, but uh, time will tell. Righto, oot!